Hey everyone, and welcome to Fallout 3, episode 40. We're gonna try not to die. What is it? And she's upset with everything. We'll be right behind you, be careful. Which seems weird, considering I really am their only hope. It's the only way to get through. Okay, hold on. I think I might want this. Do I want this? No, I don't want this. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop looting things just because we're trying to escape, just so you know. Shut up, Enclave! We hate you! Scorched books. Why is this robot even here? How did it even get there? And when do I get to kill more Enclave people? When is that happening? Can we do more of that? Okay. Was someone shooting? I want to just shoot you. Because I can. Screw the robots! I almost died doing that, but we don't hate the Enclave now, so we have to. I have, I'm drinking all of my Nuka-Cola. I'm drinking all of my Nuka-Cola! Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, is this locked now? Well, I guess not. I literally exploded it. Hold on, let me just... Okay, science skill of 100, but I have that, don't I? Yes, I do. Alright, alright, alright. That was a lucky guess. Alright. Disengage. You're welcome, by the way. I mean, really you are. Okay, there's people there. Let's not go there. Because they're right up there. And you are a feral ghoul. Okay, we have to kill you. Oh, right, you're one of those easy ones. Maybe I shouldn't waste shotgun bullets on that. Human flesh. That that restores a lot of HP and that scares me. Hello. Oh damn. I kind of figured he would die from that. Oh, I guess now you did. But there's another one, isn't there? I I'm pretty sure I heard something. Oh yeah, there you are. But you die in one shot! So it's okay! I hear another one of those stupid things. Random bottle caps. And a pencil! Okay. Actually, that's unfortunate. Because I was definitely gonna miss that. Do another one! How dare you? Yeah, give me that medics. I know there's red in here, but give me this. None of this, actually. Wait, why are they not following me? Hello? Friends? Are you okay? I just opened this. What is it? I just opened this. What do you mean, possible threat detected? Is it so hard to believe I'm better at science than you are? Because I am. Whenever I'm wearing that suit. Clearly, because I opened it in literally one second. Can we not do that? Because I don't trust any of the music in this game. You know why? Because it basically always gets copyright striked. We're gonna leave now. Yeah, do you feel better being out here than being in there? Do you? Let me shoot people for a minute, okay? Because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be people here. I'm gonna turn you off. We can't go any oh, further. God. We need to stop. Why? Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. 
Can you be nicer to me, considering, like, I'm helping her out? I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. I'm not handing over any of that. I don't have any meds on me, but what if we gave him some buffu? Maybe we should just leave him behind. He's slowing us down. No, you're not getting some stim packs. I... Normally, I would never approve of this. If the situation weren't so serious... If you think this is the best course of action, we'll do it. I hope this isn't a mistake. Because I never use that anyway. Take some fancy lead snacks, or some medics, which is literally right here on the floor. You might die, but quite frankly, I have absolutely... Wait, where'd the other ones go? Serious question, where'd the other ones go? Is he slowly turning into a ghoul at this point, or what is this? Hello? Is this one of those they came from behind what things? Are you sure? Oh yeah, no, then you're nice, sure. Did you not hear the people? Did you not hear the people? Did you not hear the people? I feel like you didn't hear the people. A power fist? Oh, that's too bad, that's so heavy. Okay, there's actually no one here. I bought helmet. I bet that makes you look funny. Okay, well, I guess you can... Oh, okay. There you are. Wait, are you gonna come downstairs in that case? Uh, where's the weapons? Where's my weapons? What is long enough? My lasers are gonna be terrible. I'll try this, I guess. I'm obviously never gonna hit this guy. Oh no! I crippled his head because I have so much luck. So much luck! Okay, now I'm only literally at 7%. Can you not try to help me, please? Because you're gonna die. Don't do the thing. I'm all out of- Oh no, I have one Coca-Cola. Fine, I'll shoot you somewhere else. I'll shoot you in the torso. That was dreadful. Truly, truly dreadful. It, he is literally walking straight up here, isn't he? He has way better laser stuff than I do. When did that happen? Um, we'll get a bit of rad away. Oh, that I think that actually takes all of it. This is so tedious. Don't do that. Don't aha anything. Come to me. I think the guy's gonna die now because he's like all over that place. Hey, we can go. Your friend sacrificed himself, what so it's whatever. It? I don't like you anymore. I liked her before, but she's so rude with her. What is it? While I'm out here risking my life for them, which I wouldn't have to, they're just slowing me down. Like, not just a guy who needed medicine, they're all slowing me down. Don't do that. Trying to kill people here. Hello. Give me the. No, no, I, I'm not gonna give him. That's so weird. Search and cloth soldier. When did I kill him? I don't remember killing him, but I guess. Wait, did the guy kill him? Because, whoa, kudos for him. Considering all he has is a giant hammer. That's a strange sentence. It's <laughs> a pretty good thing to have. I guess. Um, yeah, I could not give less of a damn about the uh, doctor and her people. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. I really don't know. I just don't care. <laughs> Probably because they're being so rude to me. If they weren't so rude to me, I might actually care about them living or dying. But now it's like, okay. Guess if they die, they die. Ah, that's where you are. You're just having a nap. That's cool. Hello! Yay! Insta-deaths. Okay, we do have to see for a while as the blood pours out. Well, hard time calling that blood, but still. Ghouls? Ghouls! Uh, ghouls! 
Oh, there's another big one there. Ghoul! Oh no, ghouls! Oh shoot. Did I seriously have to use it? Okay. Well, that is the pain of vatting, I guess. Really? <laughs> Lady! I might accidentally kill her now because I'm so good at shooting things. Yeah, and there goes my ammo. So this was the one that I had basically no ammo left for, which is okay because I have a combat shotgun that has a decent amount. I'm gonna take this cola. I'm gonna take uh, none of this. Except for the bottle caps. Where'd the dude go? Oh, I guess he's dead too. Oh well. Are there mines in here? Seems like one of those mine type of places. Random? I think we'll take that sensor module. That is that, that, that seems pricey. Locked. Not for long! Oh wait. Wait, hold on. Before I do that. Let me get my lockpick stuff on. I just imagine my character standing there and the doctor looking and every so often I just swap clothing. It's like, wait, hold on. I swear it's worth it. It is. It is worth it. Oh god, no. Oh, come on. I don't have that many bobby pins left. See, it's not there. But it kind of is. Yeah, there we are. See, it's worth it. I don't know where it's going, but it's worth it. I'm sure it is, anyway. Uh, yeah, it gets us to, uh... To die, I guess. Oh, for a minute there I thought- Oh, you're gonna- You're gonna try punching them? Are you kidding me? Let me just shoot them, lady. Um, I can't move. And you're okay. How? And also, what happened? No, seriously, how? I have so many questions. I'm pretty sure I didn't blow us up there, but I mean, I could be wrong. Oh god! Glowing one? What do you mean glowing one? Guess you are extra extra irradiated? Are you gonna explode? Are we gonna die because of that? Just safe. Just in case. See, I hear him talk, but where on earth are the other professor people? I'm genuinely curious. Oh, that's his eyeball, and that's why I can loot him from here. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I don't know why, because, you know. Picket fence. Oh, another vault. Oh, come on. There, that's better. Oh, and that gets me two pre or money. That's not worth at all. That is not even remotely worth. No, that- no, you hurt me. Is that what we're here for? Seriously? A glowing one and death, mostly? Do they know how much I'm wasted on being here? I hope they know. Let's see if I can get there. Yes, I can. I mean, that's not really amazing, but it's still better than nothing, I guess. All things considered. Okay, this was the hard door. I guess we're leaving now. Are we leaving through here? I guess we are. Hello! Can I explode the gas tank? Oh, you're a paladin. Wait. This ain't a tourist trap. You civilians get topside immediately. Does that mean we're... Seriously? <laughs> this? Guys! Guys, you don't need to do this! Uh, there is literally a paladin here and also fire. I'm gonna loot them though. Yeah, I'm definitely looting those. Taking that psycho. Taking them bottle caps. I should stick around here for a while and just get stuff. This is amazing looting. 
Was there someone dead here too? Yes. Yes, you were. Ah, oh, that was worth it. Alright, so we out of here now. We can't steal that because I'm pretty sure that's from the Brotherhood. Is it? Let's save to see if he murders me. He does not murder me, so I will take all your stuff. There, granted, isn't that much of it, but I'm taking it anyway. That's a regular pistol, but I want the rounds. For no reason other than that I can. Why did I take the blood pack? I don't want the blood pack. I'll take the dirty water anyway. Shotgun shells, yes, yes, okay. Alright, that was reasonably worth it. Bye! I hope you have enough flamethrower ammo for the rest of your life. They don't want to say thanks just yet? All things considered, because we're basically out of here now. Thank you for the jet. What is this? Oh, thank you for that too. Man, I'm so rich. So seriously, is the rest just dead or what? What is it? Really? We're already out? Oh my god. What are you like? You're out, you see? The rest of them aren't. They're, I guess, dead? Probably? Hail. No bail. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. She is so melodramatic. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. Oh, we're at the Citadel. You have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! Well, that worked! <laughs> Surprisingly! Okie dokie then! We can't stop now. We need to keep going. Yeah, I guess. Go on then. Um, no, but seriously, where's the rest? Name's Paladin Bale. What do you need, civilian? Answers to everything. I could see you're trying to appeal to my good nature. Pity for you, I don't have one. I'll give you this one for free. We use our big guns to kill big super mutants, so people like you can sleep at night. Do you have any idea how many times I've saved your people by just having a shotgun? Because I have. Yeah, the city ruins are crawling with them. They've pretty much overrun all of old DC. Do yourself and us a favor and stay as far away from there as humanly possible. Definitely no place for civilians. I have a shotgun. And also, your breathing is freaking me out. You're standing in front of the Citadel. Headquarters to the Brotherhood of Steel. Capital Wasteland Detachment. Good for you? Of course. But you'd have to secure the permission of Elder Lions and, well, I just don't see that happening. So move along. Doubtful. So what's power armor? Didn't those dudes that I was looting have power armor? That's an affirmative. You're clear to enter. But I still don't like it. Or you. That is rude. Goodbye. Steel be with you. No, just the shotgun. We don't really need anything else. When am I leveling up? Oh, I am leveling up! Yay! Wow, that's a lot of experience. Okay! <laughs> Let's get my luck picking up. The plus five and then I get a hundred, I think. My science is already through the roof. I'll get my sneak up to 90 as well and then I can also break the hundred skill points. Alrighty then, alrighty then. This bothers me, so I need to pl plus two points on this. And, um, uh, uh, hmm, what else shall we do? We shall, we shall. See, the sneak is nice, but it's also not really. Get some more, some more of these, some more small guns. Let's get some more small guns. Let's be a gun nut. You're obsessed with using and maintaining a wide variety of conventional firearms. Am I? Am I? I probably am, aren't I? I don't really want that. Did I get anything new? Actually, I can get the pictures, because that seems to work better. Oh, I got my cannibal! Oh, that's level 12. Yeah, yeah. With the cannibal perk, when you're in sneak mode, you gain the option to eat a corpse to regain health. But every time you feed, you lose karma. And if the act is witnessed, it is considered a crime against nature. 
What? 20% health bonus when using stim pack. No, I'm good with that. You do an additional 25% damage to any robot, but even better, sneaking up on a hostile robot undetected and activating it will put that robot into a permanent shutdown state. Okay, but I don't think I really want that. I think I'm gonna go and be a gun nut. Here we are. So, what do we do now, Lee? You honor us with your presence here. You do? We do? How? Why? Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lyons. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give Already? us? Already? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more, I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. We haven't been running for a while Is now, by the way. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison. It'll be okay. Now, this is James's daughter, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. She knows what we need. Vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help her. Very well. We'll sort this all out. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> I don't trust them. Welcome. Hail, hail. Welcome to the Citadel. Just remember, you're a guest in our home. I expect you to behave yourself. Hail. You honor us with your presence here. I do? Wait, are you actually a person? Pretty impressive work for a civilian, bringing the doctor here in one piece. Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Commander of Lyons Pride. Welcome to the Citadel. Uh, oh yeah, I did find one of these, didn't I? Let's ask about that. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. I just told you what I found. Okay. She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A Ring, near the Great Hall. Nothing about this place is great, I can tell you that. It's mostly just broken. Paladin Gunny instructs all initiates in the use of power armor, but only after they've undergone a rigorous training regimen. Considering all that's happened, my father may grant you special permission, but you'll need to ask him yourself. All that's happened. We walked in here, and that's it. I've read the report, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow. If my father permits it. But really, I have a shotgun, though. I don't need help. Does no one believe me? You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... Well, then you can't. It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. Okay, bye. In my father's name, I bid you farewell. I don't care about that. I am still so curious what the hell happened to the other scientists. I need to collect my wits and figure out what... Okay, bye. Um... Who's an idiot? someone else. Thanks for nothing. Oh, anytime. Need something, friend? We're friends already? That went fast. And everyone's so happy to see me. Why? You can even take things from there, but where's this archive? Armory? Lab? Great Hall? Welcome. Welcome. 
Like Captain Gallows? Yes. What a nice name. You don't say much, do you? No, I don't. What do you want? Uh. Spec Ops. Let's leave it at that. The line? Okay, bye. And so we part. So we do. Yeah, you know, I do wonder if he actually says you says anything different. You know, outside of what we already heard, like this is amazing. You're all amazing. Let's find out actually. Speak. I will speak. They're men. They're born, they live, they die. End of story. Okay. Shoot them, they die. Stab them, they die. Strangle them, they die. Man of many words. Sarah appreciates my methods. I fill a role no one else can. But killing people? All right then, bye. Stay safe, stranger. You honor us with your presence here. Courtyard, the den. Is this where people get drunk? Why is everything here just green? Am I really just allowed to take whatever I want? I mean. I'm, I'm happy to do that, but what do we find here? Dummy terminal inactive. How unfortunate. Brotherhood of Steel Hall attacks. Let's save, because I don't know if they'll actually be upset with me. Guess not. Alrighty then. The Brotherhood is at your service. I know, because you get up immediately from your sleeping. Hey, name's Greg. Greg Bear. Most of the guys just call me Kodiak. Heard about that mess over at the Purifier. Don't you worry. You're safe here. I should hope so with all this... power armor, I guess? Gallows? He's not a bad guy, truth be told. He just doesn't talk much. And if it ain't soldiering, that boy has no time for it. Tell you what, though. He's the meanest son of a bitch around here. All business. The rest of us, we get our R&R &R in. Not Gallows. There's even a betting pool on who can find out his real name. Talk to Glade about it. He'll tell you. Well, I kind of figured that his name wasn't really Gallows. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Now that's a story. The only reason I'm here is because of Elder Lions. You see, I grew up in the pit. Don't suppose you ever been there, huh? It's about 500 clicks to the northwest. Place is a nightmare. Three irradiated rivers coming together. People there were not well. Ghouls? But the Brotherhood of Steel came down on the place with a righteous hammer. They called it the Scourge. Are we just reenacting uh, Lord Run here? Okay, sounds like a nice place. You should go back. No. It was a Brotherhood operation. They marched in and swept the place clean. Most of the people there were half mutated, cancerous, vile things. And these people. Rape gangs, torture squads. It was pure chaos there. The Scourge is the best thing that could have happened to it. This was way back, before the Citadel was fortified. Part of the early recon after the Brotherhood first arrived in this area. One night, a squad of brothers led by Paladin Lions swept into the city from over Mount Wash, tearing apart anyone who stood against them. They were completely outnumbered. And still, they raised that place to the ground. Must have had a shotgun. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you still talking? The rivers, even after the war, they were still flowing, but irradiated and filled with God knows what else. I saw things there I can't even begin to describe. I was only, what, eight years old when I left? Hell of a thing for a kid to go through. And how did you get out? As they swept through, the Brotherhood policed up every non muty child they could find. Turns out there weren't that many. Me and maybe 20 others. The younger we were, the less of a chance that we were mutated. It was ugly work, no doubt, but it had to be done. I'll never forget the sight of the Brotherhood of Steel breaching the breast of the mountain at dawn. I don't know, it doesn't sound great. I'm gonna be real honest here. This, uh, it sounds a bit creepy. And then, okay, what did happen to the other kids, actually? All of them became initiates. Most of them went on to become brothers. A lot fell in action. I'm the only survivor of the Scourge of the Pit, still stationed at the Citadel. 
Tough guy, eh? Hell if I know. I never knew them. I lived on the street and fought with rats for food. Okay, then. Elder Lyons brought us all back to the Citadel. He said it was the safest place he knew of. This place was still being converted. He put us in as initiates and kept a watchful eye over us. He was tough, but he taught us to stay alive. The man's like a father to me. I mean, I guess that's not terrible, but still. It still sounds bit... Something sounds off, okay? So I'm gonna say. Nah. The amazing thing is Elder Lyons. He risked everything. Went in outmanned and outgunned. I'll never be able to thank him enough. So I do my best to serve the Brotherhood. I know that's what he really wants. In time, I'm sure you'll understand. Yeah, he's a bit of an Arthas, isn't he? I'm sure Gunny could train you, but he won't. Not without permission from Elder Lyons. You should ask him. He's usually near the lab. Even if he's not. Okay, they all say the same things about this, so... Lion's Pride, what do you do here? Hell, I do it all. Recon, demolition, tactical assault. Guess you could say I'm the Pride's Jack of all trades. I'm the Pride's Jack. Alright, bye, Jack. Stand strong. I will stand, just like you, on that table. Okie do. We'll talk to this guy in the next episode. Oh, I can sleep. Oh! Okay! I guess I now slept with Captain Dusk. Good for me. That was fast.